Hey guys, welcome back to Vanguard Motor Sales. I'm Greg and this Nova is on fire, man. It's a 1970 model and it's got real flame job on it, man. It is beautiful. You can see it's even got a bow tie in the flames there. Look at that. She is hot. I tell you what, the painter that did the flame job on this thing did a beautiful job. It is gorgeous, guys. And then the color on the car is phenomenal, man. Very unusual color, very, very sharp. And it is slick and smooth as can be. Five spoke aluminum wheels with Willwood disc brakes up front. The body lines are looking sweet and those flames go right down the side. And look at that, we got a little SS emblem in there too. Isn't that sweet? Man, this thing looks sweet. Look at the interior here. Beautiful door panels. The door jams are nice and clean. Custom steering wheel, custom gauges, custom shifter, beautiful upholstery on the seats. Back seats looking sweet. Package trays nice and clean. Headliners nice and tight. Dome lights working. Shoulder belts are still there. Just a phenomenal build on this car, man. She's a 70 Nova. Most of these cars got driven into the ground. This one got saved and well taken care of, restored. She is a beauty. Love it. That paint is just as slick as can be. And look at the reflections in there. It looks like a mirror. Of course, we got Willwood disc brakes on the back also. All the stainless looks good. We do have little one imperfection here in the deck lid. Chrome on the back looks great. That chrome looks like it's brand new. I'm gonna go with the round key and I've got a winner. We got the batteries mounted back here in the trunk. Looks like a brand new spare in here. Trunks all nicely coated, nice and clean. Wheel wells are nice. Back sides of the quarters are nice and clean. I don't see any evidence of any patchwork or anything. You can see all the gutter system here, all nice and clean. Nice paintwork on the bottom side of the deck lid. The lips on the deck lid are nice and clean also. When you look down that passenger side, look how straight that bodywork is. Look at the reflections in the paint. Like I said, it's a really unusual color. It's like a plum dark maroon. It is absolutely beautiful. You don't have to worry about anybody else having a car that looks just like this one, especially with that gorgeous flame job. Tell you what, I love it. Now here at Vanguard Motor Sales, we don't do any consignment at all. That means we own this car. As a matter of fact, we're buying about 40 new cars every month. So we've always got new inventory coming in. So make sure you watch us on our website at VanguardMotorSales.com. Check us out on Facebook often. And you can also check us out on Instagram. Now, Tommy answers his phone seven days a week and practically 24 hours a day. So you can call him anytime you want at 248-974-9513. One of the first things we do when we get a car here at the shop is put it up on the lift and inspect it so Tommy can answer every one of your questions. Now, I've been in the business about 35 years, so I'm putting that to work for you every day so I can help you pick out your dream car. Nova time! Listen to this beauty, man. Sounds amazing, and this thing is red hot on fire. <laughs> Got this awesome fire paint job on it. It's that real fire, guys. Looking sweet. Takes us to any car show. It is going to be the hottest car there. <laughs> Love it, man. 
I tell you, we can deliver it anywhere in the world, too. You just give Tom a call at 248-974-9513. Tom will explain the whole process to you. He takes care of all the paperwork for you. You don't have to do a thing but make that phone call. And if you want some help with financing, we can help you out with that, too. Tom will explain all that to you. The bankers make it really easy for you. All you got to do is make that phone call to Tom, and he can take care of everything for you. Now, she's driving awesome, sounding awesome. Of course, you know she looks awesome. Love that paintwork. Brakes feel good. Steering feels good. It does have manual steering. Man, does it sound good. Now, down here on the dash, the Speedo is working. We got aftermarket gauges mounted here. They're looking great. We got a tack mounted here to the dash. Aftermarket shifter here. Just put it in drive. Put the hammer down. She goes. Brakes feel great. Just touch the brakes. Stopping on a dime. It's got a great rumble to it. Now, we're very close to the airport here in Detroit, so if you'd like to come visit us, we would love to have you. If you're one that likes to drive in on the weekend, we're open on Saturdays. If you'd like to send an inspector, we invite you to send your inspector. We'll treat your inspector just like we treat you. You wanna get the car up in the air and check out the bottom side? You wanna go out for a test drive? No problem whatsoever. Listen to this thing, it just sounds amazing. Now we're about to do something that nobody else in the industry dare do. We're gonna put this car up in the air and we're gonna show you the bottom side. Then we're gonna pop the hood, show you what's making the horsepower and all that beautiful music coming out of the exhaust system. We're right here at our shop at 15100 Keel Street, so stick with us. All right guys, we got our Hot Rod 70 Nova up on the rack. So first thing that jumps out to me is going to be, it does have a brand new fuel tank in it, at least it looks to be brand new to me. Um, we can see that we have brand new straps on it as well, isolator pads installed, which is cool. We got uh, on either side of that, I can see that our leaf spring shackles uh, look to be replaced. Of course, it has new bushings in it as well. Leaf spring pack looks like it's new. I would imagine it to be new considering it's got all of its uh, isolator pads and all of its clamps look to be new on it. Floor pan in the back here, or I should say trunk pan, looks like it's in really good shape as well. You can see here that I don't see any pitting or anything like that. You can still see all the evidence of our spot welds everywhere, um, which is evidence of a uh, low, low rot car, low filler car, so all cool stuff to see. Um, just to forward of all of that stuff I'm talking about, we have a GM 10 bolt here. This is the ultimate 10 bolt, as you can see here on the cover. Um, the ideology behind this uh, rear end cover is actually these two here um, bolts actually run through the cover and actually press on the bearing caps inside this rear end here and kind of give it just like an added, uh, more or less an added bolt for stabilization here. And it's, uh, that's a good idea for a little more high horsepower, hot roddy type things. So uh, it is a positive unit, of course. It is a 373 to one gear ratio. So a good hot rod, good all around kind of hot rod street gear. Um, on top of it, you can see we have stainless lines. They actually added the supports, which is cool for our, uh, our flex lines here, for our disc brakes here. Now these are Brembo, or excuse me, Willwood excuse, uh, brakes. Uh, we do have uh, drilled and slotted uh, rotors on it as well. Coney shocks kind of stabilizing everything. Isolator pads here. Uh, moving forward to that. <clears throat> Looks like we have a set of stainless mufflers on the exhaust, of course, is new. You can see that going all the way back using its factory routing. Um, looks to me like, uh, looks like most of it's actually slip jointed. Coming forward of that. Uh, another cool thing this car's got, it does have, uh, this is always good for your, you know, more little higher horsepower kind of hot rod stuff, subframe connectors on your uh, unibody cars. So this is a bolt-in unit, so this can actually be removed if you don't like it, but I wouldn't recommend it, you know, given that uh, it's got a little more of a hot rod motor in it. So we got bolts here, and it actually ties in over here where your front uh, leaf spring eyelet is. Um, let me see here, looks like we got brand new lines over here and over here as well. So everything on it is a brand new line as far as brake lines and fuel lines. Uh, and fuel filter there if you didn't see it. Floor pans, I mean you guys can see them I'm sure. They look like they're in really, really nice shape. Um, I don't see any seams there or anything like that. So if they did their body work under here, uh, they did a very nice job. And if they're original, well then they have survived excellent. Um, let me see here, uh, transmission, turbo 350, three speed automatic transmission. I believe it to be actually a 1970 case, which is really cool to uh, see in a 1970 car. 
Um, so, but uh, I don't believe it to be the original transmission. We can't find a VIN number on it. So, um, in between that here, we have a set of jet coated headers, a fairly, fairly decent sized primary tube, three inch out, at least what it looks like to me. And uh, coming forward to that, underside of our 350 uh, stroked, I should say, 350 uh, engine here, we do have, uh, looks like, relatively recent front end uh, additions here. You can see that everything looks like it's got greasable joints on it. Everything looks like it has been replaced in the, uh, in the very uh, recent future, I should say, or the very recent past. Um, sway bar on it looks to be aftermarket. We do have a bunch of AN lines feeding everything up here. Looks like a oil cooler or a trans cooler, I should say. Um, looks like an aftermarket radiator up inside of there. Uh, same good looking brakes up here. Looks like a Will Wood style disc, uh, disc brakes, drilled and slotted rotors. But I didn't mention under, underneath here, it looks like it's got a set of QA1 fully adjustable shocks on the front as well. Um, billet specialties wheels. Um, so good looking, uh, kind of a hot rod wheel. Nice skinny tire in the front, more like a drag car kind of type thing. And then as you, if you'll follow me to the back, you can see paintwork looks pretty nice even from the bottom. This car is actually painted very, very well as far as the quality of the paint job goes. So uh, yeah, that's always nice to see, especially when you're looking from the bottom of a car, you can tell how good of a body man, the, or you know, how much time the body man spent. And if you look just down the edge of that thing there, flat as a board or all the way down through there, really, really nice, even down to this edge. And once again, these kind of details are more of a testament to a higher, higher quality build, and I like to show it off when, when these cars have them. So back to the wheels and tires. In the rear, we have two 7560 R15s, billet specialty wheels, quite a bit fatter in the back here, and you're going to see why just in a second. Let's go take a look under the hood. All right, guys, here's the reasoning for the fat tires on the back. Chevy 350 cubic inch. So this engine in particular, I believe it started life as a 307. Um, the casting number on the back of the block implies that that is the case. However, the suffix code and whatnot, this guy has made it like a 300 horse uh, 350 model. That's what this engine has been built to. We've actually seen the part number on the pistons and it is a four inch bore, four inch 30 over to be exact. So um, in between the 350 cylinder heads, we do have a Holley uh, four barrel aluminum intake manifold on the top of that. We do have a Proform 780 CFM uh, four barrel, like basically it's a Holley 4150 style carburetor. Now the uh, Proform main bodies are is like a chokeless main body, so like a more performance style thing. Uh, we have mechanical secondaries, down leg boosters, and it uh, looks like it has the, uh, the braided, um, stainless braided uh, Y rail on it along with uh, stainless braided AN line going all the way down to an aftermarket fuel pump down there. Um, as far as like the front dress on the engine goes, we do have, of course, like all everything's been chromed out on the front here. Um, we do have um, heim jointed uh, tensioners and whatnot for our belts. Power steering on it is, is, as I'm sure you can see, with quite a few little billet brackets. Power brakes on it, as I'm sure you can see, and all of our lines and stuff like that have all been replaced. No big surprise, given it's been a restored car. I can see here, and I didn't mention it underneath, um, we do have uh, the braided uh, brake lines, like the flex lines and whatnot. And uh, those actually, they do make a difference in the, the, the feel of the pedal. Um, behind the engine here, we can see we have MSD ignition firing everything. Um, looks like an MSD Pro Billet distributor. Um, MSD Blaster 2 coil with a 6AL box topping it all off. That does have a built-in limiter in it, which is cool. Um, another thing I'll point out is the, this is the size of the primary tubes on the header. This is a 350 cubic inch engine, and they look to be a fairly decent sized primary tube. So that's all indications of a little, little more built-up motor. Um, as far as the front of the engine goes, or I should say in front of the engine, we do have a hidden uh, electric fan up here, hidden up inside the shroud. Um, just key on for you, so you turn the key on, the fan comes on. Um, looks like all of our hoses, of course, have been replaced, no big surprise, all down there. Aftermarket radiator here, as you heard me say underneath here, but you get a good look at it up here. Overall, pretty nice build, it even has the insulation under the hood. Um, overall, it's got a pass seal of approval for me. It's actually pretty peppy. I actually have actually driven this car and uh, it runs pretty darn well. So, that all being said, guys, give us a call, 248-974-9513.